it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is plan for full attendance. I had a client that was getting married the week of Christmas years ago. I didn't have a ton of experience. It's probably one of the biggest weddings I had planned thus far. And they told me, oh, we just want to budget for half the guests. That means 400 people because not everyone's gonna come. It's the week of Christmas, we have a ton of out of town guests. And so I did exactly what they asked me to do, not knowing what would happen. And so as the wedding started to get closer and closer, say the dates went out, invitations went out, and the RSVPs, yes, 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 kept rolling in. And the mother would call me and text me, and I thought that she and her husband were going to have a heart attack, the mother of the bride, because people just kept RSVPing, yes. So guess what I did the entire week before Christmas? I was calling different cities trying to find Shivari chairs and chargers and linens and all these last-minute things that we needed to accommodate our guest count, which was almost 100% attendance. Yep. And so guess what else I got to do? Play the numbers game. I had to figure out what we could cut out. We cut out cocktail hour and we used that money to pay for the dinner because it was a seated dinner. Thank goodness the venue could expand and hold that many people. And so our pre-function area that was supposed to be cocktail hour turned into an extension of the dinner area. So again, thank goodness that the, the location could hold that many people. But Thank goodness I was also good at being creative and moving things around and coming up with a different floor plan. And actually, while they were panicking about money, I was really pushed to the limit of being creative. And that's one of the very first weddings where I had to mix different kinds of chairs. I had to mix different types of chargers. And I had to get really, really creative. And so it allowed me to step outside of the box and really do something cool and unique. It actually turned out amazing. And we almost had 800 people at the wedding. But my biggest takeaway from that experience was to make sure that my clients budget appropriately. Whenever they tell me they're gonna invite X amount of guests, I make sure that we budget for that. And hey, if people don't come or if they don't RSVP, then we have a little bit of extra money to play around with. But a wedding for 400, the cost is very different than a wedding for 800. So make sure that you manage the expectations for your client's budget. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.